everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today i am making escovies fish i received numerous requests asking for this dish so here goes jamaican escovies fish is basically fried fish topped with a spicy pickled vegetable medley sauce it's quite delicious so let's let's get right into it First, let us start with the fish. Here I have three beautiful red snapper fish, which was washed and cleaned with limes. I am going to start by seasoning the fish, but first I'm just going to make a few incisions so the flavors from the season can seep within. Now here I am using some salt and make sure to get everywhere through the creases in the head i am also using some black pepper and some mixed seasoning any all-purpose or fish season can be used and season generously we want this fry fish to have a lot of flavor Now that the fish is properly seasoned, now put that aside and it's no time to make the famous Escovy sauce. Here I have red, yellow and green bell peppers. You may know it as sweet pepper. These vibrant colors makes the sauce beautiful. I also have some scotch bonnet peppers, some carrots and an onion. I went ahead and cut my carrots into julienne strips. The same procedure for the bell peppers. I also mix some into decorative shapes just for presentation. And guys, are you seeing these beautiful colors? Yes, the different colors make an attractive escovy sauce. And now for the scotch bonnet peppers. Can't have an escovy sauce without scotch bonnet peppers. And if you don't want too much heat, just remove the seeds. Now slice the onions and I don't normally eat onions but when all these vegetables simmer in the pickled sauce they are extremely tasty. Okay now it's time to make the escovy sauce and this is quite simple. To a pot over medium heat add some vinegar along with some pimento seeds for flavor. Now add some granulated sugar and the sugar even though the acidic vinegar flavor. Now give that a mix. Now add all the vegetables. Allow to simmer for just a few minutes. Four minutes for the most. You want the flavors from the seasoning, but you also want them to be crunchy. Now add some fresh thyme. Can't go wrong with fresh thyme. And that's it. Now pour in your containers and close lid when it's cool. And this Escovy sauce have a very long shelf life. And the longer it stays, the stronger and tastier it gets. Now it's time for the fried fish. Now put your frying pot over high heat and add some cooking oil. Allow to heat up for a few minutes. If the oil is not hot enough, the fish may stick or break apart. When the oil is hot enough, add the fish. I think this pot is able to hold another fish. There you go. Lovely. Now I'm also adding in some fresh thyme and some garlic to flavor the oil. Now allow to cook about four to five minutes per side. We want a crispy, nice, dry fried fish.
and they are done now remove from the oil and allow to drain now garnish with your escovy sauce and that's it there you have it jamaican escovish fish and what goes great with this than some festivals and that's it guys jamaican escovish fish absolutely delicious thank you so much for watching a full recipe will be in the description box please don't forget to subscribe